So this was an attempt to use um, Lego Mindstorms EV3 to do some machine learning, uh, specifically to recognise numbers. Okay, so let's do one last prediction. Um, just a quick look at the Lego build. The platform's just covered in uh, aluminium foil, just to increase the reflectivity a bit, make the numbers a bit more varied. That's just a motor rotating the platform. So let's try a number. Let's try the number seven. Put the number seven on the platform. And kick off the rotation. Wait for the results. Seven and then. So the steps taken were to actually build a very simple EV3 model, which was a rotating platform with a light sensor mounted above the platform. And the idea was to place uh, numeric characters on that platform, rotate them and measure the reflectivity at different angles of rotation. You then use that data to create a machine learning model and then use that model to predict any character that's placed on the platform. So we had to generate data for each of the characters, each of the numbers 0 to 9, generate the raw data, process the, that data into a formula that could be used by a machine learning model, train the machine learning model, test its accuracy, and then use that model to predict um, the number that's placed on the LEGO platform. So the equipment you need, obviously you need a, a LEGO EV3 kit, um, you need a micro SD card with Pybricks MicroPython installed. You need some numbers, wooden, plastic, however you can get them. Um, you need a PC or a Mac. Um, some aluminium foil or reflective material. And some blue tack to stick that actual foil onto the platform. Here's some references um, where you can find my code and my build instructions, etc. So the build, is, like I say, was fairly simple. Um, you can see the rotating platform with the light meter, light sensor mounted above it. And that measures the reflectivity as the number rotates on the platform. And this is the results that you get. You can see there on the graphs, there's angle of rotation versus the reflectivity for four numbers, the number 0, 5, 1 and 6. And they are quite distinct. And it's that aspect of it, the fact that they are distinct, that you can use in your prediction. You can use to predict which number is on the platform. So, before you can procure a model, you've actually got to get some training data. So I'll give you a quick demo of how the training data was obtained. Okay, this is my machine learning Lego model. It's very simple. Um, it's just a rotating platform here that we place these number characters on and a light sensor and the light sensor measures the reflectivity of the characters as they rotate on the platform. Um, we then use that data, that's the training data, we use that to create a machine learning model and then we use the machine learning model to be able to predict what character is on the platform. So first of all we've got to create the training data uh, that's very simple. Basically, you just put your char each character in turn onto the platform. Line it up fairly central. Press the start button. That then rotates 10 times, measuring the reflectivity at every 10 degrees of rotation. And that creates the data file for the number one. Uh, we then repeat it for the every other numeric character until we've got a complete set of training data. So I'll do one more for the number two. Start that off. Oops. And once we've got all the training data, we then need to clean it. Use it to create the machine learning model and then use that model predict numbers.
Okay, so I've rotated each of the numbers on the LEGO platform and the results are sent back to 10 CSV files, for each, one for each number. Um, and each of the CSV files has two columns, one for the angle of rotation and the other for the reflectivity value from the light sensor. Um, but unfortunately, uh, machine learning models can't take the data in this format, so you just have to reformat it um, to clean the data. And when, once it's reformatted, it's like this. So along the top is the angle of rotation, so 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. Uh, along the at the rows are the rotations, 1 to 10. And then the values are the reflectivity from the light sensor. So we measure the reflectivity for each rotation up to 360 degrees. And then the last column is the target column. That's the number that has been scanned. So for this particular one, it's the number zero. For, for train one, it'd be the number one, for example. And then we use each of these training files to create a machine learning model. And then when we scan a number on the platform, in the future, we can use the data from that scan, run it through the machine learning model and predict the number that was on the platform. Uh, we then split the training data into training, the original data the tra into training data and test data. We use the 70% of the data as training data, 30% as test data. And we use the training data um, to create a machine learning model using the k nearest neighbor machine learning algorithm. And then we use the 30% of the test data um, against that model that you've just created to see how accurate it is. And as you can see, my initial results are about 94%. Um, accuracy, I've got about between 70 and 95. So it's pretty good. And then to predict um, the value of a number, you simply place a number on the platform, scan it, send the data back to the machine learning model, and then it uses that data to make a prediction of what it thinks the number is on the platform. So how does the prediction actually work? So on my laptop, I've got a Jupyter notebook. I kick that off and it executes main.py on the EV3 brick. That in turn causes the um, platform to rotate with a, with a number on it. Um, the sensor then scans the reflectivity as the, as, the, as the number rotates and the values are stored in a data file, a CSV file. That file is transferred back to the laptop. It's cleaned up, put into that format that I showed you earlier. And then that data is fed into the machine learning model it makes its prediction. Its prediction appears on the laptop screen, as you saw. It then notifies the EV3 brick of what its prediction was, and the EV3 brick shows the prediction on its screen and says it out loud. So I'll give you one final demo, just to show you. Okay, so I've got all the training data for each of the numbers, 0 to 9. I've cleaned that training data up and I've created a machine learning model from it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use that machine learning model to predict what number I put on the Lego platform there. So I'll put a number on, it'll rotate three times, it'll get the light reflectivity values, um, send that over to the model and then the model will predict what number I've placed on the platform. So let's give it a go, let's pick a number, uh, let's try that one, number two. Let's just line it up, <laughs> fairly central. I'm sure this could be done a lot better. There we go. And what you should see when it predicts the number is you'll see the number appear on the laptop behind. The number also appears on the EV, EV3 brick, but you can't see that obviously. But it will also say the number from the EV, EV3 brick. Um, there's a bit of a delay between all three of those because of files being transferred back and forth between the brick and my laptop. But anyway, here goes. There you 
go. It's predicted the number two. Let's try another number. Uh, let's try what, number one. Stick that on there. Uh, fairly central. Kick off my program. This is all running from a Jupyter notebook. Okay. So, let's have a go with the number one. There you go. Um, so I've, I've actually tested all the numbers. It, obviously, it's not a hundred. It's not a hundred percent accurate. Um, I'm getting about seventy to eighty percent right so far. So obviously, there's a lot of variables you can change to improve um, the accuracy of the model. So you know, seventy to ninety percent accuracy can be improved. Um, things you could do, physical things you could do to improve it. You could change the distance between the color center and the platform. You could change the speed of platform rotation. You could change the number of rotations you do, sort of the volume of data that you're going to collect. Um, you could change the reflectivity sampling rate of the light sensor. Um, you could change the background that the character is on. Currently, I'm using aluminium foil because it's quite reflective and it gives a bigger range of values, but you might find a better material. Um, you could change the size and thickness of the numbers, the material that they're made from, what characteristics they've got, texture, colour, exam for example. And the ambient light levels or the ambient light direction might affect or might improve the accuracy of the prediction that you get. In terms of the model, you can improve the model. You perhaps select a different machine learning model. Um, you can change the hyperparameters of the model. Um, you can change the um, angles at which the reflectivity is measured, or you could use k-fold to increase that ac um, accuracy. So here are my contact details. I will put up um, the code and the build instructions, etc. And this slideshow on my website, which is www.datapeaking.com.